Hello, my dear students. Welcome to my today's online class on nutrition in protozoa. That is another chapter in the phylum protozoa. I am Dr. Meera B.K., Associate Professor and Head, Department of Zoology, Maharani Science College for Women, Palace Road, Bangalore 1. You can see my cell phone number and email ID on this slide. After the class, for any queries, you do can contact me through either of the avenues. You can see a diagram here depicting holodozoic nutrition in amoeba and uh, one more diagram depicting the mode of nutrition in sectorians, one group of protozoans. Okay. Now, with this brief introduction, let us start another new topic in the phylum protozoa that is mode of nutrition in protozoans. Let us see by what all means they feed themselves. Okay. Now, protozoa obtain nutrition in many ways. Some protozoans like euglena, chlamydomonas, etc. synthesize their own food. Okay. And or get it synthesized by algae living in their cytoplasm a sort of symbiosis and few more protozoans capture the food. So they synthesize food on their own or they get the food synthesized by algae living in their cytoplasm or capture the food. Some protozoa which lead a parasitic life normally do no harm or very little harm to their hosts but occasionally cause serious diseases, such protozoans do obtain their nutritional quota from the host or host cells. Okay, So they obtain nutrition in many ways. Now, there are different types of nutrition which are found in protozoa. Basically, there are five types. One is holophytic nutrition. Second one, holozoic nutrition. Third one, sporozoic nutrition. Fourth one, mixotrophic nutrition. Fifth one, parasitic nutrition. So, all types of nutrition modes are found in protozoa. Holophytic, holozoic, sporozoic, mixotrophic, parasitic nutrition modes. Now, in this class, we have to study all these different types of nutritions with suitable examples. With that, our job is done for today's class. Now, let us understand different types of nutrition modes one by one. To begin with, holophytic nutrition. Let us see what it is. The phytoflagellates, that means they basically resemble plants in having chloroplasts and chromatophores and flagellates. Their locomotory organelle happen to be flagella. Such protozoans are called phytoflagellates. Phyto means plants, flagellates means which bear flagella. Okay. The phytoflagellates like euglena, clomidomonas, volvox, etc. possess chloroplasts, inbuilt chloroplasts and other chromophores to synthesize their food by the process of photosynthesis and this type of nutrition is known as holophytic nutrition. They utilize sunlight, carbon dioxide, water as raw materials 
similar to any plant okay which is capable of are doing photosynthesis okay this method of self feeding is referred to as autotrophic phototrophy autotrophic phototrophy dear students please note there will be one more questions there will be three more questions and these are all the areas where you can expect one more question as well as three more question you have to be very confident with these different types of nutritions okay and uh, if you happen to study the structure of a euglena cell which is a flagellate protozoan you would have written a nucleus in the center and then a big paramyelon body paramyelon body is the reserve food material in the form of dextrose sugar okay which is synthesized through the process of photosynthesis okay so euglena happens to be the best example for holophytic nutrition i think i have made myself very clear this is about holophytic nutrition mode in protozoans okay then the second type holozoic nutrition what it is most of the protozoa which do not have either chloroplasts or chromophores you know they derive nutrition by ingesting other organisms and this mode of nutrition wherein the individual feeds by ingesting other organisms is said to be holozoic zoic means animal like phytic means plant like that's what i meant so this mode of nutrition is said to be holozoic and uh, holozoic nutrition involves development of organelle for food capture ingestion of food digestion of food assimilation of food and finally ingestion that is throwing out of undigested food materials so for all these processes the protozoans such protozoans which practice holozoic nutrition have to develop special organelle okay let's see some capture their food through flagella through pseudopodia through trichytes okay and then some use axopodia some reticulopodia and some tentacles also to pull the prey that comes within their reach when i was talking in the when i was talking to you about the various type of locomotory organelle in protozoa i have referred to all these axopodia reticulopodia etc and there i have mentioned primary function is to capture the food rather than locomotion right so some use their locomotory structures for capturing the prey and then here in the diagram you can see the holozoic nutrition in amoeba so the blue one what you see is the food particle which has to be taken inside the body of the amoeba for which you can see in the second diagram the plasma membrane okay forms a sort of cup like structure through the process of invagination and in this invagination vacuole the food particle enters and in the third diagram the food particle has been engulfed and has been taken inside right and uh, once the invagination of a food particle is through you can see in the fourth diagram the food is put in a food vacuole right so formation of food vacuoles is the characteristic feature of protozoans where the mode of nutrition is holozoic so the series of diagrams of amoeba tells you step by step how exactly the food is ingested okay then the in case of ciliates the situation is different the ciliary oral apparatus is very well developed for food capturing 
and driving it towards mouth the mouth here it is cytosome cyto means cell soma means mouth so the mouth of the cell is known as cytosome so ciliary oral apparatus is very well developed for capturing the food and driving it towards the mouth or cytosome and then pushing it into the cytopharynx the pharyngeal region in the cell is called cytopharynx okay pharynx of a cell is cytopharynx so in ciliates special ciliary oral apparatus is developed for this purpose okay then i have to talk about the pinocytosis that is cell drinking in amoeba see what happens here is the there is ingestion of food okay there is ingestion of food through the general body surface you can see the structure of an amoeba and there pinocytosis channels are formed pinocytosis means cell drinking phagocytosis means cell eating so here sometimes the food particles are taken in through the process of pinocytosis let us see what exactly happens here the pinocytosis channels are formed at some parts of the body in the diagram you can see at three places pinocytosis channels are formed so the one here is initial formation of pinocytosis channel then later it extends in deep inside the cell and it is formed at some parts of the body and it encloses the fluid that needs to be taken inside the cell from the surrounding medium okay so once the pinocytosis channels are formed the food that needs to be taken in is taken inside these pinocytosis channels and taken deep into the cell and the lower ends of these channels are pinched out into the pinched out as food vacuoles what we call here pinosomes okay into the endoplasm so this pinocytosis is a typical process to take in some special type of molecules into the cell okay then so pinocytosis is induced by certain active substances not all active substances present in the medium surrounding the cell namely high molecular compounds from the external medium are absorbed by this method so you have to study holozoic nutrition in amoeba and then you have to talk about the pinocytosis in amoeba okay both you have to discuss then next one is mix up uh, saprozoic nutrition next one is saprozoic nutrition where the food material is taken by osmosis through the general body surface okay the food material that is dead organic matter is taken inside the body through the general body surface hence this sporozoic nutrition is also called osmotrophy because the absorption of food takes place through the osmosis okay through the general body surface by now we must be knowing what is osmosis osmosis is the movement of solute particles from the region of higher concentration uh, lower concentration to the region higher concentration to the region of lower concentration right this is what exactly happens the food mainly is the dead organic matter okay in case of sporozoic nutrition what is the food dead organic matter how do they get dead organic matter that is rendered so by the decomposing bacteria the bacteria will decompose the food material present in the medium convert them into the organic matter and that is ingested through the osmosis 
Hence, this is called saprozoic nutrition or osmotropy. This method of sporozoic nutrition is exemplified by mastigomeba and also some of the colorless flagellates. Mastigomeba, mastigomeba and also some of the colorless flagellates. Okay. Now, so this is seen in Septorians. There is an order in protozoa called Septoria. So, saprozoic nutrition is seen in Septorians. See, these Septorians actually feed on other ciliates. Like here, you can see one Septorian feeding on the Paramecium. Paramecium is the prey here. Okay. They feed on other ciliates with the help of tentacles. You can see the tentacles here, and each tentacle is provided with funnel ends right you can see the funnel end also so the moment they see the ciliate protrusions the funnel end secretes a chemical that paralyzes the prey once the prey is paralyzed the nutrients are sucked okay from the paralyzed prey and taken inside the cell this is the saprozoic mode of nutrition in Sectorians feeding in sectorians. Okay, now so each tentacle consists of a round rigid tube, central tube. I have told you as soon as the prey is attached, the tentacle tips, you know, they paralyze the prey with some hypnotoxin and gradually suck the body fluids with the central tubes. Okay. This is all about saprophytic nutrition. The next type is mixotrophic nutrition. Let's see what it is. Mixotrophic nutrition, when I was talking to you about the general characters of protozoans, I have told you these different types of nutrition patterns in protozoa in a single point. Now same thing I am elaborating. I have already told you that mixotrophic nutrition is a combination of more than one mode of nutrition more than one mode of nutrition like many protozoans like euglena paranema which normally you know are capable of doing photosynthesis they also take in some part of their diet in dissolved form by osmotrophy osmotrophy or solid form by phagocytosis. In amoeba you see pinocytosis, cell drinking. Here you see cell eating, that is phagocytosis. So here photosynthesis and osmotrophy or phagocytosis both form the nutritive methods. Hence this method is known as mixotrophic nutrition. This method is exemplified by Euglena, Paranema, etc. Okay. Then, nutrition in parasitic protozoa. So, the mechanisms used by parasitic protozoa are almost similar to that of their non parasitic protozoa. Okay. So, these parasites inhabiting the intestine and blood, you know, like trypanosoma, etc have a distinct mouth through which food particles are ingested through the process of phagotrophy, okay, through the process of phagotrophy. And the osmotrophic forms of protozoa are either coelozoic or histozoic. So please note, parasitic protozoans have developed their own ways and means to attend to their nutritional requirements, all right. Then the osmotrophic forms of protozoa, they are either coelozoic or histozoic. Okay. Now, the coelozoic forms absorb their foot by cell surface. On the other hand, the histozoic forms feed on substances by the process of osmotrophy, that is cell eating, okay, phagocytosis, okay. Parasitic sporozoic forms, they may directly use the serum of their hosts. Alright. So, 
Till now, my dear students, I have discussed various different types of nutritional patterns that you come across in different groups of protozoans. Thank you for your patient listening. Any questions you do can contact me. Till then, stay blessed. Thank you.